Elgu has another ace up their sleeve and this time it looks like a new resin printer. So I'm not even sure this has been announced yet, but it looks like Elgu is getting ready to release the Jupiter SE. This is an upgraded model to the original Jupiter. So this was found on their Chinese website. Now I am not good with Chinese right now, but I'm gonna show you some of the pics that we saw and uh, you to be the judge of it. But this thing looks a little bit different than the normal Jupiter that you're used to seeing, but it has got some uh, different upgrades to it, so it might be interesting to look more into it. So for one, the overall design is different. It looks like that you actually have a uh, top that actually comes off and has two handles onto the side rather than the front door like the normal Jupiter has. I'm not too sure how to feel about that with those handles on there, but it does look like they upgraded to the 2.0 Cobb LED screen on it. And it does look like the build volume is around the same. You're looking at 277.848 millimeter by 156.264 millimeter by 300 millimeter build volume. I think that's close to the original Jupiter. And it does look like it's compatible with the Voxel Dance Tango, Lychee, and Chi2 Box slicers. And it also looks like it has a redesigned, reconfigured resin pump that will actually pump the resin uh, when it gets lower into the vat. And the one neat thing that I see on this that I kind of like, um, it looks a little different, is the design of the build plate. It looks like we have this new type of etching on here, which is pretty good for adhesion. And it does look like it has a little bit more powerful exhaust fan. Also, if you look at the picture, you can also see the redesigned build plate. It looks a little bit more structurally solid. Uh, you have the turnstile up on the top of it, and it looks like it's a little bit easier to calibrate. The vat pretty much looks the same. The design of the original one wasn't that bad at all. It does feature a color LCD screen on it and also looks like it has a carbon filter that either comes with it or you can get one to put inside of the printer itself. The one thing that I would like to see on this is a heater in order to keep the resin temperature consistent. Um, a lot of people like Uniformation has come out with that. Um, to me, that should be a standard in any of your new printers now, um, but it doesn't look like this one has it. Again, I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sure the final design, uh, you'll see more of it when it's actually released. The machine actually looks like it may be a tad smaller than the original Jupiter. It comes in at 657.75 millimeters tall, 479.9 millimeters wide, and 377.4 millimeters uh, deep. So it doesn't look like there's really been any word on price point yet. However, Elgu does have the original Jupiter on their site discounted to $890. Uh, with free shipping in the U.S. So with the recent drop of their new Orange Storm Giga printer, it looks like they may be coming out with some newer stuff. Who knows? Uh, but I'm curious to see what other companies are going to do to combat this uh, new release from Elgu in the resin world. And this may be something I look into getting and maybe reviewing for you guys once it becomes available. I don't know of the timeline whatsoever. I'm not too sure about those handles over on the side. Uh, I don't know if that's the final design. I'm assuming that it is. Um, but tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know, is this something that you would definitely look into getting? Uh, did you purchase the original Jupiter? Uh, has it been good for you? Is this something to really kind of step up to? Again, I'm not sure about all the details. I wanted you to see the firsthand look of it. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you the heads up about what's coming out. If I see any more stuff that's coming out from Elgu or anything major from any other companies or wherever like that, I'll definitely post a first take video of it. So again, if you like the content and you like the channel make sure to subscribe uh, give us a like also also check out my patreon as well the link is below in the description where we do models of the month we have a private discord and we hope to see you back for the next video as always stay safe out there get out and create something print prep paint repeat and until the next video we'll see you